We're going to have uh, UGC Master Beast sticking with Glacius on the right side on player two. We'll see how this goes. This is notoriously in Sadira's favor, but not by that much. It really depends on if you uh, take her out of the sky faster than she can get into the sky. Either way, Rip lands the first combo. Master Beast breaks it on the second attempt. He's trying to meet her in the air as much as possible. Nice, that was a good puddle punch to the opposite side. Trying to land a few shatters. He's going to need to hold Hail an awful lot, although Rip gets a quick combo. Heavy doubles. Solid damage. Good 35-40%. Ooh, Rip got a forward roundhouse there in the corner. Either way, gets a grab to the opposite side. Decent damage. Pokes Glacius right in the eye. Throwing webs, making himself safe. Master Beast just got instinct. Let's see if he's going to be able to use it. Oh, he's going to barely live. And the final hit did it. 41% down, Master Beast has Instinct. Let's see how long it's going to take for him to pop it. Rip choosing not to break any of that. Very interesting. And he goes for it, the guess in the end, essentially not giving him a chance to do a counter breaker. Rip is going to make himself as hard to hit as possible because all this pretty much is free damage right now until he gets his final life bar going. This to be as lame as possible. Heavy, uh, heavy Puddle Punch actually knocks down, so Master Beast couldn't continue into a combo. Covering himself with those Ice Hails. Oh, and he's going to go right into it. It's crazy how, oh my gosh, that makes him safe. You cannot combo break against Sadira when she is in Instinct Mode. And now Master Beast is down nearly 75% on his second life bar, and Rip is still alive with Instinct. Uh, I think Master Beast might have just forgotten that he has Instinct right now because he needs to start using it, and he might not get a chance unless he goes right now. That was great. That was almost an unblockable setup. There we go. He's got it going now. But now he's got it going like crazy. Trying to meet her in the sky at some point. Although he's got armor on, it's going to be very difficult to get through. Nice. Now hit danger. Medium double. Is he going to try to break this? He does, but he doesn't hit it. And that's it. Master Beast down one game. Rip up one game. Supreme Victory, a callback to the old Killer Instinct games, essentially meaning that you were able to take down your opponent within the first life bar. Here we go, round two, or game two. Wow, that was the latest bottle punch I've ever seen. Gets the full combo because Rip did get locked out a little bit earlier. He's, uh, Master Beast is landing a lot of these, uh, of these anti-air heavy punch, I think these heavy punch puddle punches. Got broken that time, but if you let it whiff, man, you're kind of wide out in the open. Doing his best to meet up in the sky, but it's not working, and Rip is just getting good damage right now. Oh, jump back right into it. As we were saying earlier, wow, Master Beast... I, I think Master Beast actually tried to combo break a little too early and by result did a shadow counter because he was in block. Either way, he loses a bar as a result. Shadow counter similar to alpha counters. You take your meter. Rip goes for the medium doubles at the start and then goes for lights. Oh, the neutral jump beats it, but he breaks the combo. A little bit of damage right before. I don't know if Rip was blocking that or what, but Rip is being on point right now with his combo breakers. Ooh, if he threw in a shadow move, he would have been able to kill. Covering himself with the hail. Rip coming in once again, gets smacked by it all. And that's it. Master Beast takes round one of game two. Rip's going to do his best to try to change this, and there we go. Into the final round. Wow, forward roundhouse anti-air. It didn't even look like he was close enough. It must have been must have been hitting a button. Walks back into the web. Master Beast choosing not to break once again. He learned his lesson from before, but breaks the medium double before that. Lands into the web. No confirmation. Can't get much damage off of a random web jump in, but it's pretty good. Uses a shadow counter a little too early. You have to wait till the end for Sadira. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to have to end it. Oh, went into a uh, medium double instead. 
Master Beast not going for any other, uh, any different Puddle Punch besides Heavy and the, the Shadow version, which knocks down every time. So by result, he's not getting combo opportunities off this, but he's getting one now. Rip takes a guess once again, and I think Rip is like almost 9 out of 10 on combo breakers at the moment. Lands Heavy Punch into Stuff, almost gets the remaining combo. Master Beast once again tried to go for the Heavy Puddle Punch, doesn't get it. Rip lands the Ultra, and that's it. Rip takes the game. Good game.